didn't see this, but I read it where you kind of uh, dismiss the Bronny LeBron James concocted script. Yeah, I can't stand it. What a waste of time that is. Yes, I, I think that's so stupid. That is so, Dan, that is so artificial. That is so, I mean, come on. He had one rebound in, in three minutes. He's going to be in the G League in about a week. Uh, you know, they listen, LeBron is a wonderful player, and I understand that Lakers are trying to make sure that he is motivated and he's galvanized and it meant something to him. So I understand that. But I walk around town all the time. I did not have one person tell me, wow, did you see that Bronny play with LeBron last night? Um, the American sports fan could care less. Let's be fair. And don't compare it to Griffey. I looked it up. When Ken Griffey played with his son with Seattle, you know, he hit 306 that year. And he and one year and then another year he had a 380 batting average. Griffey could still hit when he was 41 years of age. Bronny's not an NBA player right now. The Lakers did this to pacify LeBron, which I understand. He's the second greatest player of all time. It meant something to him. Okay. But don't try to convince the American sports fan that this is a big deal that LeBron played with his kid and it's the first ever because I think it's fake. That's my take. I know a lot of people disagree. That's my take. Okay. Your son's just starting out in the business. He, right. he, he doesn't warrant being on a big stage. But let's say you say to management, I'd like to do a radio show with my son on Sirius XM. Well, I wouldn't say that. But I understand what your point is. I wouldn't say that because these jobs are very difficult to get. And I think that that advantage for him wouldn't be, it'd be unfair. So uh, I would not tell, you know, bosses, hey, do me a favor. Make sure Colin Russo gets on serious and does a once a week show with me. I, I, I swear to God, you can tell anybody down in West Palm. I wouldn't say that. Okay. And I'll say this and I'll say this right now. I, well, I won't say that because that will get me in trouble. <laughs> um, uh, Your wife's it, out of town. You can't get in no, trouble. I'll say it. I'll say it. Colin, from, on a radio perspective, he is better at what he does right now than Bronny is what he does. How's that? Okay. I'll say that with all sorts of confidence. Okay. I, I just think to me it was uh, – you don't think that was a little artificial? Yes, fact, yes. Um, yes, the whole draft was artificial. Okay, so you agree with me. Yeah, yeah. But I still think it was pretty cool that they were able to pull this off. Now, Bronny is a G League player, and but this is this was just a LeBron if it keeps LeBron engaged, Chris. Yeah, I understand. He's one of the top ten players in the game at age twenty or yes, twenty two years in. Give him if credit, it means that he's going to be excited, still playing. If I'm a Laker fan or the NBA, like I want LeBron still in the game, playing at a very high level. Excellent point. Excellent point. And, and Bronny should go. This is what I think is going to happen. Bronny's twelfth man. He got in. He he'll get seasoned in the GL, uh, the uh, G League, and then they'll bring him up probably for the Christmas Day game. Like I think they'll pick spots to bring him up. Let him play a little bit and then send him back down. That's what I would hope. I Dalton Connect is the rookie that we should be talking about. And he's good. Yes. He's good. And not, I love him. And not Bronny James. Not, I agree. Yeah. So, so your point is you're okay with it because it's good for Le, LeBron. And what's good for LeBron is good for the game, which means it's good for us. That, that's, where, that's, that's where you come down on this? Yeah, because he didn't play that long. I think it was, all right, we'll put him in. It's kind of a... Like a ceremonial first pitch. Well, don't make it historical then. Don't say, wow, this is the first. Well, it's not time. like the Griffies. I agree with you. Don't, don't make it historical. That, if, if, you, if your point is, hey, listen, LeBron's earned this, and that's your point, yeah. that's fair. I'll give you that. Yeah. But don't make this some unbelievable event that the sports fans got to pay attention to because <laughs> Bron, because they're pacifying LeBron James. Yeah, but that's you work part-time for a network. That makes this bigger than what it needs to be. I agree. I agree. And that is why yesterday, part-time's a little strong, Dan. You're the <laughs> you're ESPN. I'm on there two hours a week to give them, to help Stephen A. I mean, to say that I'm an ESPN employee is a little strong, but... Do you have I, an ESPN ID? No, I don't. Okay. All right. Then you're not an... I, I, can, I can get into Disney World with a, with a discount if, that, if that's what you mean. <laughs> Now, I, I, I tell you a little secret. I told him yesterday, I said, guys, listen, 
I'll play the, you know, this is how I feel about <laughs> Ronnie. If you don't want me to get into this because it's going to bother people, I'll lay low. And to Stephen A's credit, he said, Chris, you say what you have to say. If you get pounded, who cares? We all get pounded on first day. Say what you have to say. So that's what I said. There you go. Yeah, I know. But that's where I, I couldn't do it anymore. And I did it when I was there where they'd say, hey, you got to go Duke, North Carolina basketball. You got to talk Yankees, Red Sox. And, and you know, you guys are told here's topics there. And the, the amount of times that you can create, now everybody's doing this. Uh, what's the cowboy angle today? Uh, oh, I know. A lot of Doc Prescott. A lot of Doc Prescott. <laughs> <laughs> but I love when you fight back because you're going to stand, you're going to speak to more people instead of playing the hits like they do. Like, well, I, I, here's what I would say, and I'm not pat myself on the back. This is just me telling you because you and I have been together and known each other for a very long time. Here's what I would say. How many people, and I didn't do this on purpose. I just did this because this is how I felt. How many people are going to go on ESPN, no matter what the show, and knock the idea that I've seen too much of Jason Kelsey? How many people are going to do that? <laughs> yes. Because he was all of that Atlanta Philadelphia game. I mean, that was that was not good. That was too much. Let's yeah. be fair. Yes. Am I right or wrong, Danny? Am I right or wrong? No, but Stephen A. going to a Knicks playoff game, and you would have thought that he was playing. Oh, I said that yesterday. That was I said bad. That I said, Steve, how about a T-shirt and a pair of jeans <laughs> in the upper deck? I mean, geez. I said that uh, uh, How are you doing, most importantly? How everything's are you doing? great. Everything's great. That's a good spot with Manford. That's a good spot with Manford. Yeah. And, you know, I, I like him. He's I, a good guy. Yeah, he's I good. like him. Um, I, did, I haven't liked everything he's done, but you know what? It's like David Stern. I really love Stern. So uh, did I. We had battles. But you know what? I thought at least he would listen. I thought at least he was honest with me. And that's all I can ask for when you have these. these, Like the Commissioner Goodell doesn't come on the show. I don't get him either. The other commissioners come on and I feel like I can say to Adam Silver, this is wrong. Or you got to change the all NBA. Don't make it, you know, positions. It's positionless. Basketball is positionless. And he changed that. And so I, Good job, I so you had some influence with that. I do Good appreciate thing. that. Um, all right, I got to go, and you need to comb I your love hair. You, you got to comb your yeah, hair. I'll comb it. I'll comb it. <laughs> I'll see you later. Thank you, dog. That's uh, Christopher Mad Dog Russo and uh, Sirius XM Channel 82, Mad Dog Unleashed. He's also on first take. He's not a part time employee and host of High Heat on MLB. Hey, wait, wait. Rock did you take- give any thought to your hair today? I know I didn't. I know last <laughs> time I was, I was in bad shape. Wait, but your I wife was, helps you, doesn't she? You know, she's away right now visiting <laughs> my children on the West Coast. So I don't have, and I can't ask my daughter Kira to do my makeup. So as a result, I came up here. And I know that you guys put it up last time. I look like an idiot. Uh, uh, but I mean, I figured out what the heck. Uh, for you, I just want to come on and chat. 